Okay, so originally I was meant to be uploading a video for tomorrow, which was a FIFA series, but obviously um, that isn't going to plan at the moment. But as of right now, something is happening at the moment on Twitter. Now, I thought I'd make a video on this, and I also want to get out the way very quickly that monetization is turned off because I don't think this is a topic that you can monetize on. What has happened is, is that Callum hudson Adoy, a footballer for Chelsea Football Club, has been accused of rape. There was a row at 4am and he has now been arrested after the, no the destruction that was created and people obviously called the police and he was arrested just like that. He has been arrested for rape allegations. Now, this is a very, very serious topic and this is definitely not a new thing in the, f in the world of football and in the world of fame, you know, people who earn so much money. You know, there are always these allegations that pop up because people in the media are people, uh, sorry, because famous people are often being scrutinised for every action they do, whether it's something small or whether it's something extreme. Whatever it is, it's going to go on the papers. It could be someone like Tom Cruise um, litters um, and chucks a banana skin or something on the floor. Uh, AJ Tracy caught... I don't know, AJ Tracy caught parking on a single yellow line and gets a fine for it. You know, these these sort of things, just for some reason, are always an interest to the general public. But from what I have recently seen is already something quick to the conclusion whether Callum hudson Adoy is innocent or guilty. Now, the problem is I don't know what, side to take because there isn't a side to take until there is further evidence being chucked out and I can pretty sure guarantee you that the same was being said about Adam Johnson when he was arrested um, for what was at the time allegations of having inappropriate contact with a girl who was underage and you know very quickly he was able to carry on playing the sport again until further evidence was unleashed and then he had a court case and was pretty much serving time and now his football career is deservedly pretty much over. I just find it weird because I'm looking at these tweets right now and, you know, there are just so many people saying stuff like, he earns 180k a week, he wouldn't do something like that to ruin his career. What you've got to understand is that it doesn't matter how much you are earning or what your background is, or what your bank statement is saying, because that is just no way to indicate that this person is immune to doing anything wrong. And there, this is honestly a very sensitive topic, because unfortunately, it goes with both cases. There are so many girls that don't speak up about rape, because they are scared that they are instantly going to get accused of lying. And at the same time, there have been times where people have abused it and then end up getting someone innocent sent to jail. For me, it is innocent until proven guilty. You, There's nothing you can do as the member of the public to deem for a conclusion. The only thing you can do right now is... Take whatever news you are seeing, you know, whether it's from some sophisticated articles or your standard tabloid news. But all this of like trying to reach a conclusion of who is in the wrong, it's just so pointless. Because this, again, dates back to Adam Johnson. Because I, I myself included, I was about maybe, I don't know, I was 18, I think, at the time. And I'll guarantee you this, I definitely wasn't mature or balanced minded as how I'd like to think I am now but I was instantly saying I oh no this 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 can't be right uh it could have been a goal that led him on stuff like that and I'm willing to put my hands up in the air and say that was genuinely my first impression of it but then as a few weeks later go by or a few months or years I can't remember the time span whatsapp messages were leaked and then that pretty much confirmed that I was wrong and Adam Johnson, in fact, is a paedophile, which in my eyes is one of the, is if not the scummiest thing 
you can do in the eyes of society. I just feel that people are being too biased with the club they support and instantly saying that it didn't happen. And I personally find that very, very worrying because we cannot live in a society where we take examples of what has happened in the past and completely, completely dismiss what people say. I personally feel that this needs to be left for the police to do their work. People, Callum hudson Adoy to be interviewed by the police. The person who, the, the model who has uh, framed the, the model who has filed the case, or I could be wrong what I'm saying, but basically the model who is a part of this uh, conflict in this story needs to also say her side of the story Gather as much evidence as possible and leave it like that until you release news for it sometime. It's weird, though, because I also remember when um, Rudiger heard or thought he heard some racism. And a lot of Chelsea fans were then very quick to just say, oh, yeah, it happened, this, that, the other. But then, you know, not only on that day when there were some Chelsea fans ejected from the ground... Uh, thanks to the work of Tottenham Hotspur and Chelsea Football Club of finding those fans who racially abused Son, the evidence showed in a stadium which has one of the most viewed securities and pinpoint filmed security in possibly any stadium of the world, found the evidence that it didn't happen. But there was no innocent until proven guilty on that side of the conflict. So again... As football fans, we need to really just stop being so biased and think, think about this like this. This is a very upsetting story and traumatic as well for either side of the party who are involved in this incident. Callum Hudson-Odoi could be innocent and the girl could be, um, you know, falsely accusing him or it could be the other way around. Callum hudson Doyle, in fact, did do it, and the goal was right to report it. But the fact is, I don't know too much about the story myself, and neither do you. So, the fact is, is that we need to stop in a society of just dismissing everything based on someone's status, based on someone's gender, based on how much someone earns per week. Because we cannot operate like this as a society. It's bad enough, you know, me living in London, and I'm sure if there's any London viewers watching this will agree with me, based on having to follow some simple rules and people can't do it, and now we are further restricted from any freedom, but in my opinion, is the right thing to do because we are fighting a war, a war against the virus. I hope that, you know, the truth will be found out in this matter personally, but... I'm just not happy with the way people have responded. I'm not happy with the way people have tweeted about it. You know, I'm going to chuck some tweets here right now and you can see for yourself how pathetic it is. The fact of the matter is, is that one of these people are innocent and whoever it is that is innocent is going through one of the worst possible times of their life. And I just hope it does get found out. And like I said, this video is not getting monetized. I just I just wanted to spread my view on YouTube, to be honest, because this is a platform for me where I like to show some content and I also like to give a little bit of my mind about things as well. So, yeah, um, that's really all I've got to say on the matter, really. Just stop jumping to conclusions. Let, let the police do their work and you'll find the truth eventually, just like what we did with other things in the past. But for now, you know, this is a serious topic and... There's too many people out there that are afraid to speak out on rape because they are scared of falsely getting accused, uh, falsely accusing people of it. And at the same time, there's people that get wrongly accused of doing it. And it's a very horrible situation to be in, to be the victim or to be falsely accused and not seen as a victim, but seen as a scumbag in people's eyes when there's been a miscarriage of justice. But that's all I've got to say on it. And I hope, you know, to everyone who's watching this to just stay safe and um, follow the government guidelines. And um, yeah, stay safe, guys.